Hello, my lovely Leos, and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your December 2018 extra monthly love reading. Okay, guys, um, there is another love reading in your first half of December 2018 general readings, and all those readings um, for December 2018 for the first half are all up. So check them out for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Check out um, your love readings for your Venus sign as well. Um, any of those might resonate more if this one does not resonate with you or it might have um, some more messages that you are meant to hear and um, learn from, okay guys? Some things that you might need to know. So check those out. And um, also Leos, if you want to enter for a chance to win a free 30 minute reading, Subscribe, share the video, like the video, then email me at dqtarot at gmail.com before December 31st, and you will be entered into a into that um, contest for a free 30-minute reading. I will choose the two winners in January, okay, guys? All right, all that information as well as all the information on booking a private reading with me and all my services are right below this video in the description box. All righty, this, um, again... Let's connect with your higher selves, Leo. Allow me to connect with the higher selves, my Leos that need messages to come through. My angels and archangels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael. Please guide us. Aphrodite, goddess of love, pagan gods and goddesses, shadow kings, light kings. Messages that need to come through, please allow them to come through. Where are my Leos at in terms of love and romance at this time? And um, I am doing this reading on the Sagittarius new moon. So we're moving from, we're going to do it from here forward. And I really want to pull this one. What's going on here? Strength. It feels like we're finding our strength again. As soon as, you know, Mercury went back in direct um, in Scorpio, as soon as, you know, Mercury retrograde is basically over, it feels like our strength is returning. We have more fire energy here. We have that Sagittarius new moon, um, which again, that fire energy is very good for us as a fire sign here, Leos. And it is giving us strength. It's giving us power. We feel like we can overcome the things that before we felt we couldn't. We're feeling stronger. We're feeling more grounded, feeling more prevalent. This is a pretty decent energy here. It also shows the need for patience, Leos. Don't rush forward in this energy. Take your time. Grow your strength. Just appreciate who you are um, and your strength right now, okay? You guys are really getting back to yourselves, it feels like. You know, feeling more like yourself, feeling more grounded, feeling happier, more stable. But you need to not rush forward just because you're starting to feel better, okay, guys? Take it slow. Alrighty, so let's check out, again, this is my Hobbit Tarot, if I didn't mention it. Um, all right, let's, I'm going to use this deck as well for um, what's coming in for you guys this month for love and relationships. Moving forward, what is coming in for my Leos in love and relationships? And they expect in love and relationships, offers, opportunities, situations, single or coupled. Show me what is coming forward for my Leos. Ooh, first we have the Ten of Wands. So we're starting... Um, it feels very difficult right now. It feels like we're at the end of a very tough period, though. It feels like we've had a lot of stress on us, a lot on our backs here. Um, whether it be in a relationship or, you know, just in general life, we've been very stressed out and it has been affecting our relationships. Um, we also feel, you know, a lot of burden here. If we've recently gone through a breakup or if we've recently gone through trying to get over somebody, we could feel very much at our wit's end here. Very much downtrodden, exhausted, may need to rest at this time because we're at the end of a very intense cycle. And we see one ten. What can we expect? Probably another ten. I just know it. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's coming in for my Leo moving forward into the month here for love and relationships. When we get the Six of Cups, amazing, guys. Um, maybe reconciliation, falling in love, a soulmate coming in. Or maybe we're very focused on something from the past. Or somebody from the past that didn't come back during that Mercury retrograde, something that we were stressed out about. Maybe coming back with an apology, an offer, with love. This person could be a soulmate. Just because the Six of Cups is here does not mean it's a good soulmate relationship. This person could have um, could have been difficult with them. But whatever it is, they feel like they, they want to come back and renew things with you. The Nine of Coins is also being very abundant, um, very have very powerful manifesting qualities to you. You're doing well with work. You're doing well with a lot of areas of your life as well as taking care of yourself um, and feeling very attractive. You're coming off very attractively towards others at this time too. Towards, you know, um, again, that's also that earth energy, that Capricorn energy is helping you guys become a little bit more um, rooted in the material world, rooted in the earth here. 
And also, again, you're coming across very powerfully, very um, very attractively. Turn in heads energy there with the Nine of Coins. At the end of the month, where will my Capricorns find themselves? Or should I say at the end of this year, where will my Capricorns find themselves in terms of love and relationships? What's coming forward? Too many cards. I just want one. All right, there we go. Six of Wands. We're, in, we're going forward in the right direction, okay, guys? Um, so don't be afraid. Um of wherever you are now, it could feel very painful. It could feel like we don't see ourselves in this position, but at the end of the month, it feels like we are moving forward in the right direction. We have a lot of amazing energy there with that six of wands. You know, that is beautiful energy that is moving forward in the right direction, feeling like you're on top of the world, having so much attention from others because you're attractive and you're manifesting it in. Like, again, Leos, you guys are popular. People are always going to want to be with you. You're never going to have to want for, um, you know, relationships, it feels like. I feel like my Leos are always like, on it like even when they're like going through breakups they're like all right on to the next one you guys are very strong very powerful and at this time it is showing up um let's pull some clarifiers here clarify the ten of wands the six of cups what is happening under this ten of wands energy for my leos what is this ten of wands bringing up for my leos or clarify the messages of this ten of wands for my leos here Let me move this before i knock over a stone <laughs> Clarify the energy for my Leos here, for love and relationships, for the Ten of Wands. What's happening that's bringing up this energy? We get the Eight of Coins reversed, so maybe something just hasn't been working out. Or again, somebody that you thought wanted to work on things with you might not be coming forward. The other, You might not be able to see a way forward in a situation or with a person. You might feel very exhausted. We might be like, there's nothing left we can do here. Is that type of energy with the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Coins. There's nothing left to work on. There's nothing left to do. So you guys are releasing it. You're like, okay, that's it. I'm done. I wash my hands of this. I don't know my way forward, and I'm okay with that. You know, hold on, let me move these a little bit. The Ten of Wands here, I also want to say, you know, it's it's saying to just not be too willing to please other people. You guys are off, you know, Leos are tend to be people pleasers. You guys are popular because you please a lot of people. You know, don't put everything on the line so you can please everybody else. Don't put your everybody else's happiness or the relationship's happiness or what has happened, you know, with this person before what your needs are. You know, even in relationships, you know, this is saying that it's time to delegate your workload. Again, if you want to make this work out and you're in a partnership, it's time to delegate the workload saying, hey, I'm not working on this anymore. It's time for you to work on yourself here. You could be, even be taking a break because somebody needs to work on themselves in this situation. It's time to step back a little and we need to really just take our time here, not rush forward. We might not be able to see the forest through the trees with the eight of coins reverse there. Um... You know, it's it's showing that there's too much energy is going into maybe our work life. And right now, that's okay. I mean, that's okay, though, Leos. But if you want to work on things in your relationship, you're going to have to shift the focus. Um, you know, there's a need to really exercise restraint and resist the temptation of, like, trying to work, do all the work for this relationship, do all the work for this person here. We need to step back here. Um, or, you know, if you're putting um, work before a relationship, it might not be worth it at this time. We might be, um, this person might have reached the end of their their rope with us being too busy. So maybe go back to square one. Again, if this is what you're, the situation that you're in, I'm getting that maybe we can um, renew this relationship, okay? Somebody might be like, hey, you guys, you need to stop working. You need to stop focusing so much on this and enjoy, like, you know, the season with me. We need to have a good time right now. We need to get back to, you know, what brought us together, what made us fall in love in the first place. Um, reconcile, really open our hearts up again and connect like we did in the beginning. Falling back in love, feeling attracted, moving forward into a new amazing chapter in your relationship, okay? Um, so that could be happening as well. Let's check out the Six of Cups here. Clarify the Six of Cups and Nine of Coins for my Leos for December 2018 for love and relationships. Clarify the messages Clarify the meanings. The Six of Cups here. Hmm. Page of Wands. Yeah. Um. Maybe a fire. I mean, you guys are a fire sign, but it could be a Sagittarius. Could be a um an Aries here that might be coming in as well. Somebody might want to come in and or you know just somebody that's very attractive. Somebody that's you know good looking. This is also the energy of just fun flirtiness. So again, if we just went through a really a breakup here and we're like, I'm not working on this anymore. You got to work on yourself, and I need to do me. Um, that's kind of the energy I get here, and this person might be trying to come back. However, what I'm also getting is that you're feeding your soul here. You know, you could be just like having a fun time right now, flirting, going out, you know, hooking up, doing what you guys do best, just being popular and, and enjoying this flirty energy. Just um, not trying to like t get tied down right now is kind of the energy there. Just because there's somebody coming into your life that might be offering that doesn't mean you guys are taking it. You're like, 
Um, I think I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Maybe I'll talk to you, but I don't know if I'm ready to commit. This is really like someone wants commitment. Somebody wants to come back in and you're like, I'm in a non-committal phase here. Oop. Temperance just came flying out with a bunch of other cards, but it came out first before all the others. So felt significant. Temperance. Okay. Temperance here. So that is saying again, Sagittarius season, very, the Sagittarian energy, um, needs to be balanced. You guys need to balance somewhere between <laughs> like focusing on the past. Maybe you guys are, you know, hooking up and going out and going a little bit too crazy on like the fun train here. Um, in regards to maybe a breakup or, you know, trying to get back out there, but it could be at the cost of maybe suffering in the long term for you. Um, it might kind of, emotionally dry you out you might not feel very good about it emotionally um, at the end of it all or at the end of this season so watch out for that just kind of temper your desires don't go and be with every single person that shows interest in you if you're single you know be fun be flirty you know have a good time but don't um, do too much too often it feels like at the end of the season you might end up regretting it you might feel kind of like oof, a little bit worn out a little bit Feel like you won't feel good about yourself if you do that but there we have the six of wands and the queen of wands at the end of um the month here so as we leave sagittarius move into that um capricorn season it does feel like we're getting more grounded we are balancing out from that energy so again um you guys will be balancing that out so again if we're having a good time right now we're having a little bit too much fun it feels like it will balance out towards capricorn season and we'll be moving in the right direction again this is um a queen of wands queen of fire here which is you guys showing up in your own reading um, we're showing it very, um, passionate, like, she's very passionate, she's very loving, she's, um, you know, she doesn't let anybody mess with her, she's a very powerful woman there, uh, feeling fiery, feeling charismatic here, um, it's also, again, very independent energy, so it doesn't really feel like, for those of you who are single, um, somebody might want to commit to you, but you guys, it seems like, don't really want to commit to them right now, you kind of want to just do your own thing, ride this wave of success and um good times right now that's totally fine um this is a woman that knows what she wants and knows where she wants to go so at the end of this month you know the end of this year we're gonna feel that way all right so that's pretty uh, that's a pretty good come up there for you guys for love and relationships let's check out um with my tiny little mini tarot um by simple ghost my friend eden sent me this from um boston look at how tiny they are they're so little um Let's get some advice for love for you guys. Advice for love for my Leos for December 2018. Advice that will help them in their love and relationships. And we get the Eight of Swords. Ooh, Watch out for um, putting yourself in a bad position. Watch out for um, self-sabotage, for thinking negatively about yourself and letting negative thought patterns kind of control you and the way you are. Also, again, if somebody is very controlling, kind of makes you feel trapped in a box, it might be time to reevaluate that relationship or put it in the past. But the Eight of Swords is um, kind of a focus on, you know, not putting ourselves in this box, not putting ourselves in this box, not um, locking ourselves in with our own issues here, you know. We could be thinking negatively about ourselves in a way that is just not productive and it's not real. All right. Let's see. Um, guidance and advice for my lovely, lovely Leos for my Stacey DeMarco Halloween Oracle deck here. Advice for love and relationships for my Leos. Trick or treat. Mischief and play. Okay, trick or treat. All right, stalking and stomping, eyes shining and begging baskets, faces and bodies that are no longer ours, laughing skeletons and candy caskets. All righty. Um, it says, should you receive the trick or treat card in your divination, it may well be a time to examine the role of play and mischief in your own life. You don't have to be a child to let go and have some playtime, and you can extend the fun to others. Sometimes we are afraid to make mistakes, and play is one way to alleviate the pressure that we sometimes place on ourselves to get everything perfect every time. Alternatively, it is worth knowing that there is not a that sorry that there is a balance between manipulation and mischief. The former is not pleasant, and the other is. I'm sorry, the other and the other has at its core a sense of irreverent fun. So again, <laughs> sorry about that. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, it, 
is really saying that we need to have some fun in this Sagittarius energy. Don't be afraid to have fun. It's really what I'm getting here. Don't be afraid to just let yourselves go, Leos. Go crazy. Go have some fun. You're putting too much pressure on yourself at this time. And you need to just let go and let in. Let what's meant to come in, come in. And, you know, release pain from the past. Release things that have, um, you know, held you back here. Okay? Whatever has held you back from having successful and loving relationships, it's time to release it. Okay, Leos. I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know how it resonates in the comments below. And again, guys, if you want that free 30 minute reading, um, all you guys got to do is subscribe, share a video and like a video, then email me. And again, all that information as well as how to book a private reading with me and all my information on my private readings is right below this video in the description box. Check out the videos for your sun, moon and rising. They might resonate better, um, as well as your Venus. And I'll see you guys in the mid monthlies. Thanks so much.